Oh, there's a crash down there. Oh! Oh, oh there's been a crash down there. Goodness gracious. My goodness me. And that really is sad. Jens Voigt has crashed. I just heard on race radio looking back there. There's a very nasty crash at the front end. There he is. That's Voigt in the middle of the road there. He went down very... And it was actually sitting at the back. Ooh, that's nasty. Well, I don't know what happened there, but that was a very nasty crash by Jens Voigt. Let's hope he is OK. The car is there. The doctors will be there straight away. Now, that has just happened on the descent, which has just started. Submit it at roadid.com slash tdf for a chance to win a trip to next year's Tour de France. As, as we see that, there's a crash as well as we rejoin the action now. And uh, again, it's the Lotto Yumbo riders in yellow who are down there. Well, we're looking down there, oh. Paul, and it's been a touch of wheels, and the rider fell right in the middle. It's riders and on the near side have gone down. And the white jersey, Tom Dumoulin, they're saying, has gone down as well, and there he is a rider who was in third place in the overall standings. Nelson Oliveira, the champion of Portugal, is down there. And there's another crash we are hearing further up the road as well. This is, this is because of the high speed now and the nervousness. Well, uh, that's Daryl Impey over on the right-hand side being looked after. 500 metres to go. Cavendish has got to come and he's too far down here. Cancelor is not going to make it. Kittle's going to try and get in. He's getting led out by Degenkolb. But there's been a crash there. Gerrans has gone down on the line. A touch of wheels as the breakaway goes clear now. And again, as the result, as a crash. And that is a terrible scene for us on the road. A touch of wheels and Mark Cavendish in all sorts of trouble when it should have been a day of glory for him. That's so sad. Well, Cavendish went down very hard indeed there. Mark, the big surprise was almost uh, Fabian Cancellara. I don't like to see a man on the ground like that. He was hoping for a fairy tale uh, finish to the stage here this afternoon. That man's in agony. His teammates have stopped up alongside him. But Gerens is closing the door there. You can see that Cavendish is trying to go through the gap. Gerens mixing it. But difficult to say whose fault it was there. At, and they went down very hard. And this is going to be a tight win on the left. The champion of Belgium, Wilfred Nelson, starts to go for the line now. Nelson's got the inside. The whole field stringing out. Nelson leading through. The champion looking for an early win here. Oh, my goodness me. They've hit the policemen. They've all come down. That is a terrible crash. Gonchenkov has gone down. Fontanelli's gone down. That is an amazing pile of Lange Jalabert has gone down. Now watch this again here and watch the rider in black. You can see the policeman looking straight at the race and then into them goes Jalabert. Hits those cans really very, very hard indeed. I've never seen anything like it. This is Wilfred Nelson on the floor and with him is Lange Jalabert. Well, how on earth did that happen? Again on the wheel of Christoph. Buon is desperately trying to fight this oh! out. Oh, the crash on the barriers as Demar has taken the lead here now. But that crash looked a little bit bad down there. That was Mark Cavendish trying to come up the inside of Peter Sagan, but he ran out of space. These riders are the overall leader, Gerrit Thomas. He had that accident inside of the final three kilometers. So when the judges go back and look at all this videotape, they will give him the same time. But that looks to me as if Cavendish is down on the floor. Next corner will have them lining up to the finish line. Mark Cavendish there um, is still on the ground in the distance, and this is rather shades oh. of the finish in Harrogate a couple of years ago when Cavendish crashed also on the opening stage of the Tour de France in Britain. And Jabju Jakarov is on the left of our picture as they come towards the line now. Leading out with Olaf Ludwig, the Olympic champion in the centre of the picture, Abdu Japarov suddenly takes a dive for the barriers and revolves right into the head of the pack. He takes down two Chateau Dax Gatorade drivers, one of them was Jan Schur, and it really was a most horrific crash. Being mown down at almost 60 kilometres an hour by some of the fastest finishers in the world. Abdu Japarov to claim his green jersey in this year's Tour de France was helped over the finishing line, but he had a broken collarbone and severe concussion. And a bit. Oh, oh crash. there's been a crash down there. That looks like Dan Mars and Richie Port. Port. The 
coming together the two Frenchmen whose careers seem to have run in parallel Bardet and Bargui well as we speak uh, you can see on the right of the picture there that poor Richie Port is leaving the Tour de France on a stretcher and off to uh, the nearest hospital for examination possibly Geneva here and that really is sad uh, to follow that and that is a seven kilometer climb Whoa, oh, no. steady on. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, well, uh. Completely overshot, hit the wall. And Gilbert is on the other side. The neutral service are running to the left, maybe to remount. Can we see Philippe yeah. Gilbert? Yes, we can. He is, he's remounting and continuing. I'm not still ahead of the peloton in the Tour de France right now. As he continues, he's looked at his arm, which is clearly cut.